So as I was saying, um, what's it called? They even indoctrinate them, the children, as when they go to when you take them to nursery, and when you send them to school, and and so it's very important that you know you're not just aware of the curriculum that your children are being taught in school and in nursery and you know even at university like the conversations the ideologies that is being pushed to them okay it's very important that you also because they also use media so it's very important that you are aware of and you pay attention to what your children are watching and what your children are listening to and even what you allow in your own home i remember like when i was younger like you know got introduced into pornography you know the 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 L, the lesbian pornography and all kinds of pornography in general and that that sh that messed up my mind so it took god renew my mind you know got, when i when i gave that when i became born again you know when i received christ into my life like literally it took the word of god to renew my mind because for years that that homosexual thoughts thought pattern kept bombarding my mind because of what i was opened up to i share more about it in my book called take off the mask be you stop pretending um also good i share my own story so i know that god is able to transform you but you have to allow yourself even if even if you you're having this battling these thoughts battling these ideas and so on and so forth yeah i want to tell you okay that god is able to transform you god is able to break that mindset you don't have to yield to those ideas you don't have to yield to those um thought patterns you don't have to yield to what your teachers are telling you and if it's not your teachers telling you and it's your parents because some children grow up in homes where you you can't tell which one is mom and dad they're both female okay or they're both male yeah whether it's in their biological home or even in in the foster care system okay so if they're telling you that and you if you're telling if they're telling you that and that is normal it's not normal and it's not okay it is not normal and it's not okay that's not how God made you to be and that's not how you should what you should yield to okay so it's very important that you are aware of what you're give you're giving your if you're of age okay that means like your parents are no longer like you know they don't necessarily have that much of a say should i say they're not yeah they're not they don't have that much of a say you as an individual don't give yourself up to those things to those conversations i remember like one of my family members, like one of my cousins, you say, oh, you're, you, you're gay. In London, they say, no, I am not gay. Okay? No, I am and Call me by my name or don't have a conversation with me. So it's very important. And they're like, no, I'm only joking. I'm like, I don't care if you're joking. Just don't call me that. Because the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Okay, so whatever word you're hearing, if it's not the word of God, whatever else is he you're hearing, you begin to believe it. You begin to believe it, and you begin to take hold of it. And before you know it, you begin to walk it out. You begin to live it out. You begin to think that it's all right. So it's very important that you are very aware of what is going on around you and why it's going on around you and you don't have to yield to it just because you see it on the road just because you just because they have conversations about it it doesn't mean that you should yield to it you should so be, you should be so strong in your faith uh, in what you believe in in what you know that you are not swayed you are not persuaded otherwise you, you are not persuaded otherwise like you know that 
And that comes by consistently knowing the word of God, going into the word of God, allowing God to renew your mind, surrounding your atmosphere, your environment, the place of your dwelling with the word of God and allowing the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God to continuously lead you and, and teach you. And if you don't know, like, and even putting your children in the atmosphere where God can speak to them, where God can, God, can, the word of God is, is the, the, that they're listening to the word of God. And so they're learning the ways of God and the life that God wants, wants them to live and the way God wants them to live. Okay? So that even when they go into school, even when they go into college, even when they go to nursery, they know, they know, like they know that they can't, no, everybody else can say it, I can't say it. Why? Because I love Jesus. Because Jesus says this. Everybody else can do it, I can't do it. Just because everybody else is doing it. I can't do it. Why? Because the word of God says this, and this is how I am made, and this is how God wants me to be. Okay? Your children should be that well grounded in God that they know. That they know. That they know. So you need to teach. We need to teach our children. As parents, we need to teach our children biblical world view. So that they know how to navigate this life, okay? Because the times that we're in is only getting darker. The Bible says that gross darkness shall cover the earth. Um, that darkness shall cover the earth. Sorry, in Isaiah 60, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, okay? But arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord. That's the that's the beginning. Arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For gross darkness shall cover the earth and for, for darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. Okay? So us, we, the people of God, should carry the glory of God so that when they see us, they know we are different. We know they know we are different. Even our children. The Bible says in the same book of Isaiah, your children are for a sign and a wonder in Israel. You know what? As a parent, I take that scripture and I say, my children, God, you said, you said in your word that your children are a sign and a wonder to Israel. And I said, my children are a sign and a wonder to my generation. They are a sign and a wonder to their school to their classmates wherever they go they are a shine and a wonder you know people ask me oh they come and they tell me oh your daughter she's such a worshiper she just worships god i said yes because she knows that's all we do at home we worship god it's normal to worship god it's normal for her to know when when she was ready to go to nursery by the time she was going to nursery at two years old they said to me, what does she do that is, you know, that we should look out for? I said, if, if in the afternoon she begins to run around and start saying hallelujah Jesus, it's okay. She does that. She does that. Okay. If she sings about Jesus and she lays hands on somebody, it's normal. It's okay. She does that at home. She knows that. She, because we are Christians. We believe in Jesus Christ. We pray. We praise God. So it wasn't strange. It wasn't strange. Oh, what should we look out for, my son? What should we look out for? I said, he loves music. So if he's singing about Jesus, okay, just leave him. It's normal. That's what we do in our house. If you hear him praying and talking to you about Jesus, leave him. That's what we do at home. Because we are believers. So he, he knows. She knows. Okay. So it's very important. That is what I'll leave you guys with today. As a parent. As an individual. If you're coming across this. And know that the spirit of perversion. The spirit of perversion is the problem. Okay. The spirit of perversion which is governed by Jezebel. Is the problem. Okay, the person and the people are
are not the problem. Okay, so if you are battling, I've had people come to me and they're saying, you know what, how can you overcome homosexuality? How can you um, overcome the mindset? And I just say, you know what, can I pray for you? You have to agree with the word of God. Okay, because even myself, when I was having those uh, mindsets and battle in my mind, I had to embrace the word of God. I had to embrace what the word of God says and say, God set me free. And he's the one who set me free. So even right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I just pray that anybody, Lord God, who will watch this and is and is struggling, Lord God, with, with their sexuality, Father, and even with their gender, my God, even I, their identity as a whole, Father God, I pray, Lord God, that you break off the stronghold of perversion of their lives completely. And Father God, I pray that you silence the voice of the wicked one. Father God, that you silence even the opinions of men, that you even the silence the I pray, Lord God, that you even silence the voice of the teachers in the mighty name of Jesus that does not align with your word, Father God. And I pray, Lord God, that you even shield our young people and our children, Father God, from every onslaught of the spirit of perversion in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, even through the media, my God, even through the curriculums, Lord God, and even in the companies where they work, Father, in the name of Jesus, even in the different spheres of influence, Father God, I pray, Lord God, that you preserve us as a people, that we may walk in your ways, in the mighty name of Jesus, that we may see ourselves the way you see us the way you ordained us to be even our families father god that our families will be in your pattern in the name of jesus that it will not be perverted father god that it will not be destroyed my god by ideologies by policies and father god i pray that even the policy makers my god that you so grip them with your fear in the mighty name of jesus that the policies the right for families will begin to align with your will in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we decree and we declare that the families in the UK be on earth as they are in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Guys, if you have any questions, put it in the comment section. If, you, if it's too personal for the comment section, send me a DM on my Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. Again, inappropriate comments will be deleted off my comment of the comment section of this video again inappropriate DMs will be deleted and you will be blocked okay I've had people yeah comment with pornographic sites on my channel please don't do it please don't do it because I am not into pornography. I am not interested. Neither do I want the people on this platform to be interested in it. Okay. So therefore, if you are pushing the agenda of pornography, please don't bring it on my platform. Thank you so much. Guys, have a good evening and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye.